Hey, what's up my YouTube friends? I am Adventure Steve, and today we got a little kayak project. I'm gonna try to get my Hobie on the wall using these kayak racks. Found these racks on Amazon. They look pretty good. They were rated pretty highly. So uh, my project today is I, I keep my solo skiff in here so I want to mount the Hobie just above it so let's see if these kayak racks will serve my purpose okay so I'm going to mount this around 40 inches and what I need to do is locate the stud so I can Put a couple lag bolts in. So right there is one edge of a stud. Go back the other way. There is the other edge of the stud. So the stud is right here and that's pretty close to where I wanted. I wanted to mount it about right here so I have found a stud about three inches over. So that's good. So what I want to do here is repeat the same process. This is where I had it marked. So let's see how close we are to a stud. Oh, right on it almost. All right, there's the edge. And as long as that stays lit, I know you probably can't see it, but as long as that stays lit, that is the width of the stud. So you just keep moving it till the light goes out and the buzzer stops. So right there is the other. So I got a stud right there, which is almost exactly where I wanted it. So when I mount it, it's going to look something. I want the bottom to be about right there. So that's what it's gonna look like when we get it mounted. And this kayak bracket it's got this uh, soft padding and it also has a strap which are a couple of features that I really liked here is the hardware that came with the kit I definitely will not be using any of these certainly wouldn't be strong enough to hold the Hobie now, it did come with these three very long wood screws they are pretty beefy heavy duty and you can put three in each of the holders so i'm going to risk that these are going to be strong enough especially with three and uh, i can always change them out later to something beefier but i think initially we'll go with the three and see if it'll hold the hobie Okay, so these are on here really solid. Actually better than I thought they would be. So three screws, and I literally think I could hang on them. Of course, you gotta go directly into the studs. But here's the strap I was telling you about. So once your kayak is on there, you can strap it in for a little extra security. So now, we got to put the Hobie up and see how it does. So I think the trick to all of this is, you know, you're going to have to put an empty kayak on these racks. It'll make it easier to lift. But, um, you know, I've got the seat off. I've got the paddle off. I don't have anything loose on the inside. So, and I don't know which side may hang better than the other. If with the outside out or the, uh, outside uh, turned in towards the wall. So uh, let's just see what happens.
Okay, it's up there. It's hanging well. Now I'll tell you right now, it wasn't super easy. I mean, even when you have massive strength like me and massive biceps, that still wasn't super easy. It's just awkward. Not that it's that heavy. Uh, it would be a lot easier if it was hung lower and I may have to figure out a different way, but as far as it holding the weight and holding the Hobie good, it looks like it'll do the trick. I don't remember exactly what the empty Hobie is weight wise. I think it's probably around 80 pounds or so empty. But like I said, it's just a, it's kind of awkward and weird to kind of set it up there. But man, that thing is, that thing is up there. Those kayak racks are doing a good job. And yes, I am panting because it's about a hundred degrees inside here and I don't have my fan running. So you'll be able to hear me but I probably should not have lifted it right here like I did. That probably made it twice as heavy. By lifting it here the way I did, I was probably lifting the full 80 pounds. If I had gone here to the back and lifted it, you know, I think it would have been much easier. So I may, since that's the first time I've ever done that, I may, you know, I may just go ahead and take it off, see how it is to take off, and then put it back on, lifting one end at a time. Man, this kayak is filthy also, needs cleaned. All right, let's see what kind of disaster this is. All right, let's try this in. Feels like the way it is, it was kind of wanting to wedge right there. So I think it might be easier. Yeah, it was easier taking the back end first, setting it down. Now let's go grab the front end. Okay, taking it off. That was, that was pretty easy. There's no issues there. Okay, I think there is gonna be some, a little bit of technique involved, but I think if you're dealing with a lighter weight kayak than a Hobie, it's gonna be a piece of cake. With the Hobie, you're just gonna have to have a little more technique. And you're gonna have to lift one end at a time. And there you go. You can adjust it a little bit after it's up. And it just falls right into the cradle. And it's not going anywhere. So yeah, these seams they seem to be awesome with the Hobie and I'm sure with a lighter kayak. I think it's gonna work really good over the solo skiff on the wall. I even have room if I wanna drop it about 10 inches, uh, I can and that would make it even easier to lift up on the rack. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I think it's gonna work fantastic. All right, so here is the box that it came in. Best marine and outdoors. Made in China. I wish it was made in America, but hey, that's the way it goes. I will put a link to this in the description in case you are looking for such a product. I am Adventure Steve. If you don't believe it, just send me a private email and I will confirm that I'm Adventure Steve. And I'll see you, all of you, yeah, you too, in the next video.